Hey Nancy, enjoyed visiting with you via email. This is Jeremy. I'm in Texas. And I did visit Plymouth with my wife and newborn daughter in April of 2018. We must have walked right by the Ginny Museum. We were out there on kind of a uh, kind of an obscure time. I may have even been closed, but we went to the plantation and we walked around the boardwalk and uh, the Plymouth Rock area and, and enjoyed the area immensely. So let me, I'll show you what I'm, what I noticed about the website, it did jump out at me as, as having some issues. And this is what I do this is my, my, uh, my, my business. And so right here, if you uh, look at the cursor there where it says not secure up in the, in the browser tab or the, the browsing window, that's a problem. New Google, Google standards essentially require websites to have an SSL certificate and it will appear there. And then the, the, um, uh, it will look the like this. A, pad, a padlock will appear. It will say the connection is secure if someone clicks. And then the letters before the website address will be HTTPS instead of just HTTP. So that's an important element to let someone... When I see something like this, I see something not secure. Obviously, I'm in this business, but people in my age or generation... Uh, I'm less likely to trust this website because SSL provides an added level of verification for online transactions and for the legitimacy of the site and organization overall. So also follow my cursor up here. I'm on the little tab for Plymouth. So there's the little tiny logo. It's called a favicon for the Plymouth Plantation website. And what that does in the browser tab is show me that this is a cool or a serious organization. So watch when I click to the Ginny Museum, there's the little favicon logo. That's something that's generic or default. And that tells me that there hasn't been as much effort placed into the, the marketing or the website aspect of, of the organization. So that's a clue to me that, that this may not be as neat of a place or something. Um, again, we're all, people like me who are many states away are getting a lot of our clues from what we see online. So it's important for an organization like the Ginny Museum if if it's to be operational for the for the future to uh, to present really well in a digital way. So here I'm on the Ginny Museum website. Look, I've, I'm only using a 13 inch laptop computer and the site doesn't extend the full width of my screen, which which it really should. It shouldn't in there because why not use all the space? I mean, it should, you know, expand, ex, expand quite a bit wider. Look at the Plymouth site. See, it uses the full width there. Plus, these menu items up here really cluttered. Some are on top of each other. It's just hard to make sense. I mean, they're sort of hovering on top of the image, and the name is there. And I do like the picture. I really like the logo. This is a very classy logo and that should definitely continue to be used. There's so much text here and it's not it's not quite clear where this place is. Pilgrim Educational Center. I mean, I know I found the address at the bottom. Okay, Plymouth Mass, phone number. Um, but overall, there's just so much jumbled information. I mean, there's a donate now button. Home, well, yeah, I already know I'm on the homepage. We don't, we don't need that home there. Tag us on Instagram. Well, I'm just it's too early to ask for that. I'm just looking at the site here. Book a tour. Uh, in, a, in a way, some of this really needs to be thought through because do I need to book a tour or have an appointment or am I able to uh, show up during the open hours? And, you know, can I buy tickets? Where's the map? Where's this place exactly in the city? So this almost looks like an old blog. There's a lot of content here there needs to be spaced out a lot more there's no there's plenty of room down page you can, a, a web page can keep extending and, and people like me like to scroll and keep seeing options so look how fresh and clean this is great images I see the events button plan your visit here are all the nice links down in the footer I really like that the, the map 
complete address is presented really well in this paragraph style information. There's, there is a, an email given if I would like, I can view specific contacts. These are the social media channels. And then this is a, a bonus footer area. I like it. I mean, it, some links to other organizations adds a little credibility there. So let's see how the footer on the Jenny Museum site is pretty limited and meek and it, there aren't links to the key places. So if I got past the jumbled top, then I'm, I don't really have anywhere to go. Where do you let me go shop on Amazon? I mean, so you see where that should be on a separate page for, for products or re recommended resources or something like that. Um, now watch this. So I'm going to reduce the viewing area as if I was looking at this on a mobile site. So this, this is this window that I've opened is what the page would look like on a mobile site. It's really, it's not optimized for mobile. It's not what we call in the industry responsive. Nothing, nothing adjusted when the screen size was reduced. I just see less of the site and now it's even more jumbled and confusing to deal with. Does that make sense? And imagine now that definitely over 50% of web searches are done on mobile devices and that's only going to increase, right? So now look at the Plymouth website. See, as I reduce the viewing area, it adjusts automatically. It's responsive and I still see the key stuff. I, I can click the menu really nicely there and this big drop down helps me navigate. I can click on the any of the featured images or links that they have here right at the top. We call this the hero area. And then they've got a list of events. Boom, 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 boom. I see those events. And then quickly I can get to the plan your visit links, which are nice and clean and crisp. So, and I can also check out a social media channel, which I really honestly like to do. I like to watch YouTube videos because I feel like that gives me a sense of where really where I'm going or what the, what the place is like. So, I would recommend building a completely new website, which does not have to be a massive expense. It's quite manageable um, to mirror the Plymouth Plantation website and use some of the text and some of the imagery that you already have in this wonderful logo and um, set something up nicely so that web visitors are greeted properly and well and I can, you know, if we do a project together, I can even give you some stats on how many visitors are coming, where they're coming from, and other things like that. So thank you so much, and God bless.